Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Prachi Gautam and today's video is especially dedicated to beginner writers out there who are trying to produce great content for their clients and trying to sustain their career in the age of AI. Well, I have got you everything covered. Today I'm going to reveal my content creation process that will help you with a lot of things. But before I get started, I want to ask you certain questions. Okay, ready? So first of all, tell me, when you are creating content, do you also get clueless from where to start? Let's say you have been given an assignment and you feel like, I don't know from where to start, you know, what should be the first step, the second one? Do you get confused? Yes, we are going to talk about it. But here's my second question. As a writer, has it ever happened with you that whenever you're researching, you get into the black hole? It means like it's never ending process when you're researching about the topic you have assigned with. You have so much of information that you get confused and sometimes you spend hours just reading about the topic and you really get overwhelmed. Has this ever happened with you? If yes, buddy, I've been there. That is the reason why I've made this video for you where I'm going to reveal my five step content creation process. This will help you with these three things. It will help you create your content 10 times faster. This means you can write a blog of around 1000 words within an hour with the final draft. You can write web copies in few hours. So you can definitely do a lot in lesser time. You can meet the deadline and probably you would be earlier in that. Second, this content creation process will help you stay mindful and clear because when we are writing, it's very important for us to process everything step by step. So I'm going to share with you a very fundamental principle so that you'll be able to write any style of content, whether you are writing a blog post or whether you're writing a web copy or whether you're writing a caption or anything. This exact content creation process is implicable in every style of content. You can implement whatever the style of content you are writing. Okay. Now moving ahead, I'm also going to share with you certain tools that will help you create content faster. Obviously we are going to use AI, but at the end I'm going to reveal some secrets, how you can humanize an AI generated content and share your client a very unique and fresh process. So are you ready? And just a disclaimer, this video is going to be a little bit longer because this is not less than a masterclass for you to learn how to write content as a beginner. So stay tuned and mindful. Okay, cool. Let's get it started. So in this five step content creation process, the step number one is clarity. It's very important. You need to have a clear objective about a topic, what you're going to sell and everything. So let's start with the list. Whenever you're writing content, before that have these three clarity. First of all, obviously, what is your topic? Second, what is the keyword involved in that content? Let's say if you're writing a content style like blog or web copy or product description, it's important for you to also have knowledge about what is the focus keyword. Why? Because when you are writing a content, you can place your keyword simultaneously. It won't be a second task for you. Otherwise, if you have created a content now, SEO expert is giving you a keyword or then you are finding so it will become very time consuming for you to then go back and place that keyword so it's important that you have a clarity about your focus keyword and the topic cool in this list the second thing is the intent of your content whenever you have been served with a topic what is the intention what would you like to offer to your audience with this content what information would you like to serve them what educational tips you would like to share them what solution you are offering them and what would you like like to promote in this content whether it is a blog or a landing page what exactly will be the call to action so these three clarity is important the topic the focus keyword what is the intent of a blog to describe whatever the information you're offering pollution and educational tips you're going to serve and third is the call to action these clarity is important once you have it now let's move to the second step which is researching now, being a content writer from almost six years, I finally cracked a research technique that will save your time and still help you get a very important information about a topic that you can use in your content as well. So let's get it started. First of all, take a pen and paper and write your original ideas about that topic in your notebook. Or if you're working with the client, you can ask them, is there anything specific you want me to talk about or any subtopic suggestion you have for this topic? Do this 
in prior before you get into the internet to know more about that topic i tell you why is it important so we all know that research is like a black hole so whenever we get into the internet to know about a topic it is so much of information that our original idea fades so it's important that you note down all your fresh idea all the things that you want to talk about or you know about that topic in prior and then next when you're actually going to start your research this is what you have to do so you're going to just simply going to google the topic you have been given next you just have to select any five pages or blogs in that topic and open them in a new individual tabs cool and what you have to do is just start reading those blogs not completely you just have to scan what are the subtopics involved in them then you take a pen and paper and just write down all the subtopic inspiration or the common subtopic covered in all those blogs or on those pages by doing this you are just simply pulling the subtopic ideas and this will help you understand what are the common things that people are talking about and what they have missed out that you can talk about in your content so just we have to take the inspiration of subtopic we are not going to read a complete blog otherwise you'll be overwhelmed with the introduction part the conclusion part because everyone is selling different thing through the same topic and probably their language the tone is not even necessary for your style of content so we you just have to open new tabs and read the subtopic and take the subtopic as a reference okay so by now you know the topic you know what kind of original idea you have plus after researching you have this common subtopics and any subtopic you really found interesting so you have the list of subtopics now what you have to do at this very moment whenever you're working with a client as a freelancer or as an employee you have to share this list to a client let's say by now you have 11 subtopic ideal list just have to share a client and ask them to pick top 7 or top 5 based on what product or service they offer or whatever resonate with them what they like they are going to give you the final list of subtopic now i'll tell you why this approval is important because when we are going to write on these individual subtopic we are going to do a deep research and deep work on it right so when your subtopics are approved it will save your time it won't be a case that when you have made a final draft and client will be like oh we don't want this particular subtopic and we, they will just do a cross so we really do not want to waste our time so it's important that you not only make client confirm the topic but also the subtopics cool now once it is done we are going to get into the third step which is start writing with the help of AI. Yes, I'm gonna share with you some AI prompts and easier steps that will help you create AI generated content yet unique, informative and humanized, right? Are you ready? So by this moment, what you have to do, I'm gonna share with you a secret hack, cool. So just to remember, just to recap, what do we have as of now? Topic and subtopic list, right? Now, what you have to do, again, you have to go a little bit away from this step and get back to the second step of researching. By this moment, all the final subtopic list you have, right? You have to just individually search these subtopics on Google and just select any one article or blog you really liked, which is written on that subtopic. Because now we are trying to play very mindful we are going to write a content where subtopic itself was the main topic and we have digged up more detailed research on it you get it so we are going to basically individually search for these subtopic on Google and just select one article that you really liked about that subtopic you again can just scan it you do not have to read about these individual subtopic in detail you can just scan through like okay what's written in the subtopic what topics are covered inside the content that's it by doing this let's say you have five Five subtopics then you have opened again five tabs of individual written blogs on it cool you have this right now now next what you have to do is just use this AI prompt and your first draft will be ready so don't worry I'm gonna give you a tutorial now let's go come on in all right so after this research we are going to use an AI tool obviously you can use any AI tool out there which is free like chat GPT Gemini but I'm a big fan of chat GPT I really like uh, the kind of tone it follows and instruction it uh, concisely you know a contain when it is trying to produce and take your suggestion so that's why I'm going to use chat GPT now so when we are having the list of subtopics and the resource link pages uh, from where we would like to 
take the information, right? So I have basically created an AI prompt for you that will help you come up with your content, your first draft in most unique and humanized approach and when in definitely one click or few seconds. So this prompt starts with the right dash number of content style. Let's say you are writing write 100 word blog post on weight loss tips for new mommy. Okay. It could be a blog post. It can be a web page, a landing page, a caption as well. The word you can change if you want to write it in 500 words or so. You're smart in that, right? So after this, this prompt says include references link that we basically have of the individual subtopic. We are going to paste it here as well. So include reference link, but make the information unique with personal touch, use creative, fun, casual and conversational language. Now this AI prompt is there with the introduction part. For introduction, you can give this prompt to start with a question, discuss pain point and acknowledge common struggles. For example, I know you might have tried Dash, but nothing seemed to work. Now you are searching for advice. Well, you are in the right place. In this blog, we are going to cover Dash, Dash, Dash. Okay, then we'll write here the subtopic one. So let's say the subtopic one is according to our information, we have the subtopic one, which is diet plan for new mommy, which is high in fiber and protein. After that, we are, have to share the reference link of the page. Here, you have to just replace this with the link of that blog and here you're going to paste it. We are also giving it a, an additional advice that incorporate a relevant survey to this specific subtopic. Now subtopic second is weight loss exercise for new mommy. Okay, again we have an article we researched about six exercises for new moms. So what we are doing is we are telling ChatGPT that write a summary of these subtopics but use a case study to provide depth in real world insights so we are also giving it our advices the subtopic three let's say is um, breastfeeding and weight loss so does breastfeeding help with weight loss we can write it breastfeeding and weight loss after this we have to just again share the link of the page and we are telling ChatGPT to write summary of it and we are also telling that incorporate a real life example well if you have already researched about the keyword in this starting only you can share here that try to use this keyword at least with a density of 5% or 7% if you have a keyword if just in case you're writing a blog or web copy okay now moving next here is the conclusion prompt which is discuss how our services or in-house coaching program will help and what the outcome will be for a reader now you have to detail a little bit let's say you are writing this content on behalf of a dietitian or a weight loss trainer so discuss how 60 days weight loss training by Emmy will help you get into a healthy body, mind, and figure. And that is it. We are also giving a prompt that end with a positive, encouraging word to keep them motivated. And that is pretty much it. And once it is done, we are just going to hit on the enter button. Now, within one click, it is going to give us the complete blog. Let's also read it out how it sounds. Hey, dear new mommy, have you ever stood in front of your closets staring at a sea of clothing? Just don't fit the way they used to. I know you might have tried complex diet and workout fits, but nothing seemed to work. Now you are searching for the right advice, feeling a bit overwhelmed and maybe even dead defeated. Well, you are in the right place. In this blog, you will find complete solution to dash dash dash. And here diet plan for new mommy. It just made it more concise to weight loss exercise for new mommies, breastfeeding and weight loss, the science behind it. And here's the conclusion. Now if you are feeling inspired but unsure of where to start, let's talk about any 60 days weight loss training program. It is designed specifically for new mommy like you, focusing not just on a shedding pounds, but also on nurturing a healthy body and mind. With expert guidance and a supportive community, you will find the motivation and the structure you need to succeed. Remember, this journey is all about you. Celebrate your small victories, be kind to yourself, and embrace the beautiful changes your body has gone through. You've got this, mama. So lace up those sneakers, grab the water of bottle, and let's embark the journey together. You're not just losing weight, you're gaining 
gaining a new perspective on health and wellness. So stay positive, keep smiling, and know that every step you take is a step towards a healthier you. Isn't it amazing, right? We have to give a right prompt. It's not about using AI. It's about using the right prompt and the right information, giving the right instruction. So using this, you'll be able to come up with a content. Now, obviously, we need to get into the next step, which is the fifth step to make your content unique. What you can do is now again, this entire draft is ready, but we are not done here. We have to make this AI generated content humanized. How do you do that? Well, every piece of information is out there in the internet, but what makes your content yours is your personal experience. So do not forget to add these five things to make your content unique. One, your personal case study. Let's say if we are working for this fitness trainer, we can talk about their client's case study, or we can share personal experience, the transformation journey. We can can talk about the uniqueness of our product our services about our business about our journey mistakes lessons fears right this is a whole list that make the topic according to your perception so add a case study personal views lessons mistakes fears talk about the uniqueness of your product or service talk about why us and do not forget to talk about your choice so that is pretty much it now we are going to move ahead into the last step which is before we deliver our content to the client it's important for us to check the grammar so again you can just ask chat gpt if you have done a little bit of habits here and there right? that's very human error so you can just ask chat gpt just paste your content and to check the grammar it will give you by checking the punctuations and spelling errors and all the mistake it will correct automatically and here's the last step you have to also before you share your content to a client you know that client can easily detect how much of your content is you know ai generated or humanized so do not forget to check if your content is AI generated. There are many tools out there like Quillbot, Zero GPT, Copy Leaks, Scriber, Writer, any, any tool you can use. And when you just paste your content on any of these tools, let's say this is our content, when you just paste it here, it will show us how much of your content is still AI and humanized. So you can use this tool now. Here's a suggestion. Please do not share any content which is over 10% AI. Obviously, I told you, you can rephrase the language you can tweak information here and there and anyway when we are using these additional information like our lessons mistake case study about us uniqueness of our product services eventually our content is becoming humanized so you can just check this tool copy leaks or any of it it will help you check that 90 percent of your content at least should be humanized and when you share it to a client they'll be feeling happy that oh you have done a real job but in the back end you know everything right so this is pretty much it all right so this this is exactly how you can create an insightful, humanized, yet informative content following this five-step content creation process. Well, this is not done yet because content writing itself is a big world. That is the reason why I have designed a complete content writing course for beginners out there. It is from basic to advanced level where you learn this important, demanded and high paid content styles like blog writing, web copy pages, landing pages, ad copy, product description, email writing, copywriting and a lot more with practical assignments, one on one live doubt sessions and you will get the complete course with the lifetime access with the updated version, updated modules and many bonuses like certification, client leads, and if you really perform well in your assignments, you can do internship inside you savvy agency or even work with me. So there's a lot more that we can discuss in detail. So how about you just go check out the link that I'm going to share in the description box of this content writing course. And if you have any question, you can also connect with me on Instagram. My handle name is at the rate gothamprachi.co. And I really hope you like this video. If you do, then do not forget to like, subscribe and comment. If you have any questions or any suggestion of more topic that you want me to create, then feel free to share your suggestion in the comment section. Okay. Till then, practice more, think more, read more, and you're soon going to be a demanding and high paid writer. So congratulations and all the very best for your future career. See you in my next video. Bye.